up guys, it's me Jules here with Scott Hello. and I'm f***ing pissed off because we've literally just recorded a news piece speculating about what the new No Man's Sky patch oh, was going God. to entail and then it dropped and it basically turned every bit of speculation we had on its head. So I've, good way, though. I've wasted a lot of my time. However, it's all right. it's we, all have, right. we have just watched the trailer, cut back to footage of me <laughs> raising my eyebrows just now, there it is. And so we can now tell you what is in the new No Man's Sky patch. Scott has played this game really likes it, yep. I'm on the fence about it, however, I am much more intrigued now that I have watched that quite well-produced trailer. Do you know why? Do you know what they finally added that they said they were going to do a year ago and we'll clarify all this stuff, but they more finally More 65 put... days of static music, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> they did that and they put some multiplayer in there. So Hooray! Just put a multiplayer in there. Well done. I no. mean, it recently has been, uh, not 65 days, it's recently been uh, No Man's Sky's birthday, so belated happy birthday to you. Cut back to footage that I recorded on our previous f <laughs> video of me celebrating your birthday. Scott. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, well, we can maybe use some of that, because we can drop the rest of it in. The discussion still holds. No. No? We're only cutting back to stuff that I find either funny or not relevant. Well, that's, that's all right. Funny picture of Scott's face. There we go. <laughs> right, okay. So tell us more about this trailer, because I've watched it. Yes. You've watched it. Tell me your thoughts. So everybody's going to remember that No Man's Sky was one of the most high-profile disasters of, like, the generation, and it was terrible, and it, it was... I mean, yeah, let's... I mean, we clarified so much of this on our older video, but just to go back over it again, um, you know, like, No Man's Sky was pr promised the world, promised the universe, promised Mm -hmm. things like multiplayer talked about things like you know one-to-one -one exploration you know a multiplayer based exploration things like that and none of those things came true the game that released was obviously a very threadbare sandbox of a game which mm -hmm. personally I quite enjoyed because I quite I kind of got the whole single person exploring the galaxy yep. what does it mean to feel like a speck of dust in the cosmos all that kind of thing whereas I was put off by the fact that I was led to believe that there would be one game and I was delivered another thing so that kind of completely just and that totally stands for the, for the vast majority yep. like Sean Murray did tell a whole bunch of porcupies and the, all those things weren't True, but they've spent the last year basically putting together the game that was initially uh, advertised. Yep. And uh, in two of the previous patches, uh, there's been uh, the Pathfinder update, and uh, I forget what you call the other one, but they've added uh, vehicles and the ability to purchase like freight ships, and they yep. added base building. Um, they basically went out of their way to try and take the money that they made from the game and reinvest yep. it back into the game. And you can totally say, well, they should have done this a year ago. Very much true. Yeah. But they have actually finally done those they things. They actually stuck by their guns and carried on with the game and made it a better experience for the player. That, yes. I will not not uh, take away, it won't take away from mm -hmm. my my thoughts on Hello Games. Now the interesting thing is, is that we've just watched the trailer and there was quite a lot of new content in that will in theory change the entire way you play yes. the game. There's a lot of terrain manipulation being shown which uh, we're not sure if that will play into base building but it seems like Assuming you could create will, your own yeah. natural formations out of it which is a really nice touch. Mm -hmm. Low level flight which seems to be quite fun yep. and improved combat in the, in the air which is just something that I know really needed to be addressed because yeah. it was just so basic before. I mean, it's going to be really interesting to see how the community or, you know, the general populace takes to this mm. because uh, Hello Games actually did like a weird like alternate reality game across 2017. Yeah. They sent a whole bunch of like physical cassettes to some of their community leaders and they sort of basically said, look, we've hired this team called, I think they called Alison Smith, um, which are like this big PR firm mm -hmm. uh, to do, to get people like, in, you know, invested in and whatever, like, you know, give a crap about No Man's Sky again. Yeah. And I think that's just kind of worked. They had about a quarter million people took part in it. And No Man's Sky does have this sort of cultural cache of, like, interest that they never really you know, managed to take advantage of. Yeah. And I think they do, like, it'll be very interesting to see if you can do things like group dog fights, or if you can, you know, like, build a base together, uh -huh. if you can go on a quest together. Things like that. See, now that's where my speculation comes back in. Mm. Because whereas Scott was like a child at Christmas I was. Um, with his little trailer, I, still I look at that and then um, just take everything with a pinch of salt. Because yes. I looked at that and all I really saw when they said adding in multiplayer was a bunch of orbs flying yes, around. And so that means that there won't be any corporeal form for the other players no. in your world. And it means, therefore, that the interaction between them may be very, very limited. Yes. Uh, so and, that's... That would, and I would suggest to say that that does not mean that we are going to be seeing PvP stuff, which is a shame because as a, as a notorious space pirate myself, because I love getting in people's personal space, um, I think that a, going up against people in dogfights and taking their loot and taking their planets <laughs> is much more fun I would than assume, helping them out. Based on the way that this thing is phrased, Communists. because there's a whole press release that talks about joint operations and uh, not battle modes, but exactly. at the end of this new trailer, it does say plenty more to come. Yep. And if they actually manage to like, you know, keep their servers online and get people in, you know, if you can, if you can explore the game together, even if it's all base, I mean, it worked for Fable 2, then yep. you can kind of do that stuff um, and that sort of lays the foundation for a full-on like mass multiplayer No Man's Sky. Mm -hmm. Does anyone give a crap? 
I don't know. But I think the idea of an algorithmically based universe that we can all just leap into and you don't know what you're going to find next. I mean, across the last year, they've gone back into their code and they've made they've made a whole bunch of changes. Yeah. So that all the planets that get generated are way more interesting. Yep. There's no more broken animals anymore. Yeah. Like there's stuff that is really fun to see. It seems like they have gone back to the drawing board with this. Mm. I mean, quite literally, because the updated graphics do look very, very yeah, nice. I gorgeous. really like the new style that they've gone with. The, we'll just rattle through some of the other stuff that was shown in the trailer mm. as well, which is the uh, the portals, which allow you to travel between worlds in instantaneously which is going to be an absolute time saver yep. and also possibly mean that you can avoid any conflicts uh, that you might face uh, by just teleporting in and out yeah. of those planets which is another I mean nice like, like I said like a year ago uh, the way that they advertised mm -hmm. the game I mean the thing is like Sony and Hello Games still have there's still a lot to be answered for because there are a lot of promises and advertising you know things that were mentioned in the advertising that didn't come true mm -hmm. but uh, in that time things like low gravity flights thing, like things like that were talked about portals were talked yep. about and one of the things that was mentioned um, I think it was like the launch day trailer was and um, you could play the game in like three main ways. It was like right. you could be like a dogfight in space power. Oh, yeah, you could be yeah, like, they tried to do like that, hunter gatherer, yeah. loot based thing, or you could just be an explorer. Whereas this now and actually allows you to do yeah. those paths. Which and is things quite like nice. like Marie used to talk about like um, like factional warfare and like uh, different alien races be fighting off against each other, and like mm -hmm. maybe you wouldn't be able to talk to one of them until you had better standing with them. Yep. None of those things were in the base game, but they're in there now. And, and a new alien race as well. Has yes, added. a fourth race, which is really cool. Uh, that was part of the ARG. It was like hunt the fourth race. What what make that makes me think that maybe that's going to be in included in the single player expansion mm -hmm. because they said that there's oh, also 30 thing, yeah. hours of extra single player content. Now Scott said, and I, <laughs> I rightly agree with him, that this is going to be possibly just a massive amount of fetch quests because there's to add in 30 hours of air quotes lore mm. without it's, it's going to be a bit of padding. I mean, it's in it's interesting because like it's been a whole year. I mean, obviously, No Man's Sky came out and like Hello Games. I mean, you got to remember this is a 13 person dev studio, yeah. which I still think is amazing, regardless yeah. of anything else. Um, but they did spend some of that money buying more people. Mm -hmm. But I think they've had a year. Like, obviously, the reaction to No Man's Sky at launch was, oh my god, this thing isn't at all what you guys said. Mm -hmm. So even if you take that as a starting point, they've had a whole year to go back to the drawing board and go, okay, what can we do? Yeah. And then you've seen bigger patches over the year, like they added the vehicles and stuff. Yeah. But I wonder just if they've been working on the law and the multiplayer for this long that's, and this is a year's worth of dev time that's very po that's Maybe. very possible but it's just how they're going to implement it mm. uh, without it just feeling like it's just going to be go here listen to X go there listen to X which is I mean but you know what all in all, this has piqued my interest and quelled my anger slightly of having to do another edit today. Because I, I tell you what, I tell you what, Hello Games, I was not happy when Scott came over and said they've actually released a trailer. I think my exact words were, fuck, fuck you, Hello Games, let me do my fucking job. Lord, good lordy, lordy, son. I don't son feel like that now times. anymore. I just want to say happy birthday and Scott. I'll split happy birthday. Uh, not to well, happy birthday to them because it was their birthday. Oh, I see. That, yeah, okay, happy birthday, Hello Games. Scott, we're, we're two days late, mate. Scott, you might right. be a porky pie teller, but I'll split a chai latte with you any day because of what you've possibly added now. Yes. Anyway, that's the news. Sean Murray's a good let us Let us know what you think of the patch updates because I probably won't be playing it, but he probably will. So uh, and let us know All what right. if it's enough to bring you back into the fold. Mm -hmm. Until then, I've been Jules, he's been Scott. Good f bye.